Good morning, welcome to our Bite Size Thoughts. Uh, Hannah introduced this theme for the week yesterday, uh, the idea of love, uh, love, L-U-R-V, love, uh, that wonderful concept, that wonderful idea, that wonderful feeling. At least that's how we often think about it. Uh, love uh, declares its love, love speaks its love, love tells you I love you and reminds you and sends cards. But the Christmas story also says that love does. Love just doesn't talk about love. Love doesn't just think about love or feel love. Love does. You see, the Christmas story isn't that God shouted from heaven, I'm okay, I'm with you, Uh, don't worry about it. It doesn't just have God saying, uh, you know what, I'll sort everything out. Um, I'm going to stand by you. I'll protect you. The Christmas story is that God does something. Love steps down. Love is born in the baby. Love lives alongside us and suffers for us and dies for us love does something because love is a verb that acts if not then it's not love in corinthians paul talks about love and he says love is patient and love is kind and and love is hopeful and all these things all of them are doing things it it waits patiently and it shows kindness laying strength to others they're all actions that have been done because love isn't just a concept And it isn't just a feeling, it does something. If you want to show someone you love them, you don't just do it with words, although words are helpful, but it's with actions. And it's with real decisions and real practice. Maybe there's someone in your life who you love and you would say that you love, but your actions haven't been displaying it. You don't need to think what you might need to change, what schedule you might need to reorganise, what practice you might need to introduce, what action you might need to do to show love. Because that's what God has done for us. He hasn't just told us. We know we sing the song, God loves me, this I know for, the Bible tells me so. But those are just words. Although they're God's words, they are still words. Love is really shown As John 3.16 says, that God so loved the world that he gave, he did something to show love. And we are called to do the same. Not just to say it or think it or hope it or dream it, but to do it. What is it you need to do to show love? Let me just pray for you as you think about that today. Father, we are, we're so good at making the the bar that bit lower so that we we can jump over it Um, reducing the standards so that we can kind of tick the box that we we do love people we say we love them we feel love for them but today we want to really show it and to do that we need to do something so i pray you'd help us just as you did for us where you showed love in action in in concrete ways help us find a way to do that too If your spirit is in us, Lord, then then that same heart of love is in us. And so inspire creativity and, and open doors and present opportunities and give us just a picture of what it is we can do to show love to someone else today. May our love do something. And therefore may it be felt as true love to those around us. Help us in this. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. I'll see you tomorrow for another Bite Size Thought in our Christmas adventure series. See you then.